In the previous episode of Winter in Yellowstone, we took you with us on an adventure hiking the fountain paint pot trail within the lower geyser basin. We enjoyed and learned about four different hydrothermal features, including geysers, mud pots, fumaroles, and hot springs. In today's episode, we will take you up to the gorgeous terraces of Mammoth Hot Springs. Good morning, we are about to leave Mammoth Hot Springs Lodge here and getting ready to start our adventure for the day. Our first stop is going to be this cool spot here. This is an old picture. This is also an old picture. And you can see the ladies with their stylish dresses. Fancy. Today we're gonna also snowshoe and this is what we're doing. We're here at the Mammoth Hot Spring Hotel. And we're gonna walk this way, this way, this way. And then we're gonna do the upper terraces loop all with the snowshoe. We're trying out these face masks today. Boop. We're headed to Mammoth Hot Springs today. We're gonna go to the main terrace and the upper terrace. We got these comfort masks today too, to try to uh, keep the wind and breathing from fogging up our glasses at the same time. Beaver Ponds Trail. This is a neat walk. <laughs> Mini skis. Okay, off we go. Off we go. I drink water from my bag while I can. We've got this cool looking rock on the right, and then the terraces are straight in front of me so apparently this thing that i called cool rock is a dormant hot spring cone and it's called liberty calf really beautiful ninja man <laughs> do you like your mask i do it takes a little bit to get it to the point where it doesn't fog up your glasses, but uh, other than that, it's super comfortable, convenient. So these are the terraces in front of us, Mammoth Hot Spring Terraces. Parts of the terraces are covered in snow, which makes it look more beautiful. Look at all these drifts. What if you walk across the side? Now we're gonna head out to do the upper terrace loop. So we realized um, that the snowshoes are not going to work on the boardwalk because there are a couple of stairs uh, coming up and 
Yeah, so the thing here, we're just gonna walk up the boardwalks and once we get to the, um, the start of the loop, then we'll have to put them back in. I'm gonna show you where we put them now. Alex, do you wanna turn? Sure. There we are. That's one of the reasons I love these uh, Osprey bags, because they have this clip here. So we used it to clip the snowshoes in. So you've got these two holes here. And you take this little piece, take it through, take it all the way. And then you just use this hold up. That should be good. Um, and it holds pretty well all the way. Ready? And if we overextend the elastic, I'm sure they'll sell us some other elastic at some point too. So we'll do what we're doing. Let's go. Alrighty. There's some stairs. Mm. Here is Minerva Terrace. This is what it looks like when it's not covered in snow. And this is what it looks like right now. It was named after the Roman goddess of art, Minerva. Wow, this view is spectacular. This here is probably a better view Oops. of Minerva. God, this is slippery. steps actually the SD card on the GoPro is full even though I deleted the folders this morning it seems like the metadata was still there so I'm just switching to Alex's uh, Google phone yep he's up there <laughs> and this view in front of me is very unique This boardwalk going up is pretty tricky. We don't have spikes uh, to help with the ascent, but you can see people kind of just relying on the edges uh, as a handhold and then pretty much using the, the edges of the stairs here because they're pretty flat. So my technique is one foot here, my hand on this, on this uh, um, handhold and then just find your way up. Definitely the GoPro is very practical and easier to handle this type of situations. Let's do this one again. Not bad, I think uh, the steps down, downstairs were a little bit trickier. This one seems to be okay. Here's Alex going down. <laughs> A lot easier, right? Safe. <laughs> point on no foot traffic is allowed and we do have to either have snowshoes on or cross-country skis that's the sign for no foot traffic they even have fake grass before you start Oh, 
off we go. So we started the upper loop terrace. We got to a point here. And I kind of decided that I'm not really up for it. Um, it's getting a little bit late and I still want to get to the next stop and enjoy it and kind of unwind and i know if we were to do this we are going to be a little bit short on time so yeah. and with that we are skipping the upper terrace loop so we yeah. And I hope that you guys enjoyed today's episode of Winter in Yellowstone. And if you did, consider subscribing to our channel for weekly vlogs about hiking and backpacking. Your trekking pals Habiba and Alex, and we'll see you soon on another adventure.